I don't really know how you get through it, except that you just do. Um, you just wake up one morning and maybe that great big huge gaping hole that's in your heart just doesn't feel as big as it was the day before. I really don't know except you do do it, you do get through it. Um, you have to take care of yourself, uh, you have to take care of your relationship, you've got to talk with each other, you've got to eat, you've got to drink, you've got to sleep, you've got to exercise. It's so easy just to stay in bed and do nothing. It's got to be the easiest thing in the world is just to lie there and not get your two feet up on the ground and just walk. Um, there was days I felt like that, believe me. But you just have to give yourself that push to be able to do it because even though their life stopped, life hasn't stopped. It feels like it. It feels like it for a long time. Um, but everybody moves forward. Uh, it took us a long time to move at all. But when we did, you just take one foot in front of the other and just go on with life. And you get good counseling, you get good friends, um, you know who to rely on, who not to rely on. Uh, there was a lot of people who said some stupid things, let's say, back then, and um, I just couldn't see them. I couldn't, I couldn't be part of their life in some respects. Just, uh, just going back to and, and just building on what Cheryl has just said, you always have to remember going forward. I mean, once you get to the point where it does start to change, that there's, you know, uh, there's other people in your life too. And, and I mean, like Cheryl said, some of them are going to help you. Some of them don't really understand but want to help you but don't really know how. Um, some of them will just let you be yourself and hopefully that you know, you'll be with those people that will let you go ahead with your grief and help you to gradually, gradually make it different. And, uh, and in our case, we also had our daughter, Caitlin, who had to keep going forward. So that was a big help for us to sort of try to focus some of our attention away from the grief and onto her to treat, try to keep her going forward as well. So. Um, and she has turned out to be an amazing, amazing She's an amazing, amazing young person. lady. Um, so, you know, I, I guess there's many different things to look at uh, at, at that point as, as far as, you know, going forward with grief goes. Um, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, eventually you're going to get there. You're going to get to the point where, you know, you can look back and the memories are, are good memories. They're not all bad memories anymore of just what happened, but you'll have the other memories to go along with it. And um, yes, you're going to have the odd day where you still hit the bad memory, you hit around what happened and you think it wasn't fair and, and, and whatever, but uh, you, know, you have lots of good memories to go along with that as well. So eventually that's what happens, you get there. Yeah, life goes on and everything is just different from what it was, it's, it's not better. <laughs> um, never gets better, better means that they're all here, Lisa's still here, that's better. Um, but it's just different. We have learned to live a life that is not with Lisa here physically. Lisa's always here spiritually. She's always with us. Can always hear her voice, can always hear her comments. We'd know what she would say. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> she was an opinion <laughs> opinionated yeah, You know girl. what she would say when she was 17. <laughs> it might have changed by the yeah, time she was 30. That's very true. <laughs> that's very true. Yeah. We know what she would have said back then and how yeah. she would be or hope to be. 